Thank you for joining us today. My name is Melvin Adams. My wife Sandy is here with me and uh, we are just about to wrap up 2022. We are the founders of Noah Webster Educational Foundation and uh, we're excited to share just a few details and summary of the year and kind of a little touch of what's going on in the future, what we're planning toward. And so Sandy, you want to share just a little bit about kind of some of our core, uh, what we're all about? Sure. First of all, Noah Webster Educational Foundation is a nonprofit organization. And our vision is to reclaim education and culture through foundational principles and sound policy. We address the roles of, of instruction in education, parents, government, faith and morality, and appropriations or budget. We communicate through blogs, podcasts, and other means to inform and equip parents, educators, and legislators. Now in 2022, there were a lot of different focuses we had. If you go and look at our blog posts and our social media and stuff, uh, you will see, you can see all of them, but uh, just a few of the things that we've delved into that people cared about and asked about. Uh, and so our staff did research and so forth. We did a, a whole focus on the whole transgender issue in education. Uh, and we had some panels on that uh, and just a lot of in-depth stuff there. Um, we also uh, focused on things like the content and the libraries and uh, areas of concern there. Uh, but those were kind of areas responding to some of the hot button issues uh, that were being experienced in our schools and that teachers and parents and so forth were particularly concerned about. But other important areas that we addressed were areas like the use of technology, uh, not only at school, but at home and uh, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, and not from a policing perspective, but from a science uh, and a true, uh, you know, benefit basis. Uh, and so we've got some great content there, particularly on some of our podcasts. Uh, we had some focus on uh, the importance of developing good study habits and how that can be accomplished. Uh, there was a, a Down syndrome awareness uh, theme and focus that we had. Uh, lots of options and discussion around school choice, uh, various uh, content there, because we are not an organization that just zeroes in on, say, public school or private school or home school or, or any of these areas that we consider like silos in education, but rather we believe that those foundational principles and best practices and sound policy really applies universally to the whole area of education. And so those were some of the areas that we particularly addressed. There were many, many more, and we'd welcome you to go back and look through our archives. Uh, there's some great content, content that I believe you would enjoy. Yes, we're also happy that we've been seeing significant growth in uh, our social media for example, uh, outreach has almost tripled in the last three months, and our blog is reaching uh, a couple thousand people a week, and we're very excited about that. Yeah, so as a young organization, um, we feel like that's a, a significant growth. Uh, we've seen a lot of growth through this year, and we are expecting a lot more uh, going forward. We're, we're definitely gaining there, and so we're pleased with that. Uh, because everything in education is driven, it's really driven by leadership and legislation, we have put a lot of focus this year on equipping school board candidates. Um, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, when COVID came into our, well, yeah, it came into our homes and just our lives totally. Uh, but if there's anything that COVID perhaps did in a positive way for us, it brought our classrooms into our living rooms. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, 
uh, parents and a lot of folks started to see what their kids were really learning. And, you know, people started coming up for air. They were not happy. Many, many people were unhappy. So people were got angry around, you know, CRT issues and other kinds of things. You know, anger can be a great motivator, but anger does not prepare you necessarily to do a good job if you get elected, say, for a school board member. And so one of the things that we really put a lot of focus on this year was we created some really good online uh, training for school board candidates, uh, really focusing on the law, the roles, the uh, tensions, the, you know, the opportunities, so many different things there. Um, not only for our online training, we also did some summits and some in-person trainings at various places. As we wrap up the final days of 2022 and launch into 2023, uh, there are many things that we're working on. Uh, one thing that we're especially focused on again because of the importance of uh, school boards uh, and people that have recently been elected, uh, we are working on summits that will be rolling out after the first of the year. Uh, these summits are really geared toward helping our newly elected school board members. School board members are really the gatekeepers to what happens in our schools. They are the ones who hire and fire. They are the ones who really establish primary policy around all kinds of issues, including curriculum and various standards uh, obviously, some of those come down from the state level, but many times implementation and the practical aspects of that happen at the local level. So many times newly elected school board members, there's so much for them to uh, figure out and, and all of a sudden they're thrown into these responsible leadership mm -hmm. roles. And so having summits to help equip them and gear them up so that they can hit the ground running and really lead and administrate effectively is so important. So we're very committed to that and excited about what's coming together there. Another thing that we are going to be starting uh, in 2023, our plans are to start some Spanish language content since about 20% of the American population are Spanish speaking. Um, and so there's a lack of resources there, uh, and those that part of our population need to be brought into this conversation and empowered. As an organization, we are committed to not only helping people be informed, because knowledge is power, but not just to help them be informed, but our focus is to help give them tools that they can use right where they live to bring positive changes in their own schools, in their own engagement with their own children and grandchildren, and uh, to just really uh, take leadership roles right where they are. And so we're excited about those things. There are many other things that we'll be coming out with this year. Uh, we're going to be doing a number of events uh, with around the country, connecting with various leaders, connecting with donors. And uh, so we're very excited about 2023. And we hope that we'll have opportunity to connect with you somewhere mm -hmm. along the way in the upcoming year. So Sandy, you want to? Yes, I would like to say something. First of all, Melvin and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts, especially to those of you who are um, who are getting out of your comfort zone and actually getting involved and caring about our children and our schools. And you're, you're not just sitting in, you know, in your little living room, uh, bemoaning what's going on, but you're getting out and you're going to school board meetings. You're doing something that matters and you're doing something to make a difference from the bottom of, bottom of our hearts. We yeah. thank you so much. I want to say thank you. We want to say thank you to our fantastic staff. Uh, Melvin works with them more closely than I do, but, I hear uh, and see the work that they do. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We wanna uh, thank all of our donors and our supporters who are believing in what we're doing 
and believe that a difference can be made and your giving of your resources. Thank you so much. We cannot do this alone. Uh, a lot of hands make light work and we wanna say thank you. And most importantly, we wanna say thank you to God who has uh, given us this great opportunity, opportunity and time to, to make the difference. And we know that with God, all things are possible. And while our country may be in a mess and there's a lot of things that are going on that are, are, are not good, uh, there are a lot of things that are good. And when God is, is working and helping us, we know that good things are going to happen. So we want to thank him from the depths of our heart. Thank you again. And we just appreciate your support. Thank you, Sandy, for sharing those uh, areas of thanks, uh, because honestly, all of these people and, and others are so important to what we do. But I think what's important for us all to remember, reality is we live in the greatest country in the world. My wife and I have been privileged and blessed to travel to many countries and we have lived and worked in several. And there is no place like the United States of America. That's why people are risking everything to come here. Do we have problems? We certainly do. And many of you are aware of some of those problems and some many of our problems come right out of our schools, they are kind of, you know, grow out of what's going on in our schools. But here's the good news. Everything can be impacted when a few good people put their heads together, figure out ways to solve problems. It's not, look, we can curse the darkness, we can cry foul forever. That's not going to change anything. But when we figure out solutions, and we work together in a positive way to bring healthy, uh, strategic uh, disruption and change positively mm -hmm. into our schools and into our culture. Um, I'm very excited about the possibilities. I'm excited for what's happened in 2022. I am especially excited about 2023. And uh, I hope that you will check out our website. It's nwef.org. If you haven't been there, check it out. There's a lot of great content and resources there. Our blog uh, site, our podcast, we have uh, our podcast is the state of education with melvin adams we also have a blog cast n w e f blogcast i think is the name of it uh you can you look that up and you can find that on any of the platforms and uh please join the conversation with us reach out to us we have a case document that we put together to, to share uh, the next three years and some of the strategic plans we have. If you'd like to learn more about that, uh, contact us through our website. We'd be happy to engage with you and uh, we're excited for all the positive things that are getting ready to happen. So thank you for taking these few minutes to uh, share this time with us. We hope you have a wonderful new year and God bless. <music>